The Galactic Free Press Update A huge victory for the light has occurred. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. <clears throat> Greetings, love beings. We just keep getting more and more intense incoming energies as the moments get closer to more portal openings, events, and alignments in our magical month of December. We have also entered a time compression as we arrive into eternity. All things are possible in this energy, and only the highest outcome can and will unfold. Our next whammy energetic point is the much anticipated 1212 in which all of you will ignite Mother Earth equal heart and she will complete her ascension into the new earth. This will be creating an energetic passageway for the birth of light on this planet within all of you on the galactic alignment. This is where Mother Earth, equal heart, will take her rightful place in this universe which is in the center of the oneness energy. Through this, the birth of the higher self is born and a star seed nation united in love manifests. This event includes all of humanity and is an internal event. The actual manifestation will be occurring in the New Earth energy as a humanity of one in co-creation with love. Quoted as a reharder of our upcoming energy by Kira Mystica. The 12-12-12 is the birth of a New Earth star of love. On the 12-12-12, we experience the greatest influx of love for our Earth as the Divine Mother and the female masters gather to give us a great gift. The fire of love ignites us to merge with our soul. With the 12-12-12 codes installed in our DNA and cells, we cannot fall back into the old ways. The golden Christ light purges all that no longer serves us. Mother holds us in her womb, secure and loved, ensuring a safe passageway through the birth canal to the fifth dimension. This is a mass <clears throat> soul awakening as an I am race in unity consciousness. We pave the way for the December 21st and December 31st Cosmic Alignment events. The time portal that is called 121212 on the 12th of December represents a cosmic moment of global awakening and unity. The cosmic codes of renewal are received into the crystalline grids of the earth and in human hearts. The higher heart will merge with the lower heart. We as a group will participate as a conduit in receiving and transmitting this globally. This is the final preparation for our ascension. The earth will ascend with or without humans. Let us join her. On December 21st through the 22nd of 2012, we will align with the Milky Way and the merging of the masculine and feminine 
will take place. On December 31, 2012, our Earth, Sun, and Sirius will align. Time as we know it will not be the same as we enter the next cycle of the new Earth. End of quote. By Enlightened The divine will of Mother and Father God is irreversible. We're riding the wave. The dark can splash like little pouty kids, but the wave has too much momentum. It's like the law of nature. It's coming and will lift us up. Love and light, Pat Star. All divine decrees are now preparing for physical manifestation on the planet to be born with the new paradigm. To prepare for this event, we have now entered into time compression, which will climax on the galactic alignment, birthing the new paradigm, and sending the clarion call for the end of the cycle of duality. We will quickly and smoothly make this transition as the energies gather towards the final alignment of the Year of Love, 2012, on December 31st. Quoted from Sheldon Nidal Each of you is a sacred vessel who embodies a divine spark of life and intelligence given to you by the Creator. This divine inheritance is the reason for all we do to raise up your consciousness so that you can at last join with your sacred brethren of spirit who exist in profusion throughout the length and breadth of physical creation. Heaven has decreed that this is the time for you to join this divine realm and to exercise your talents and abilities to unfold physicality. This gives us much joy as we recognize that this means our great work is nearly done. What is happening to your planet is reflected throughout your solar system. It is time for us all to take up the sacred call of heaven and return in grace to full consciousness. We, as way showers, have guided you to this magnificent moment. We know that the actions being taken will create the conditions where we can once again openly meet you and share with you about the true ways of heaven and the many sacred tasks that the peoples of this planet have been so solemnly given. To assist us in this, we are joined by your spiritual and space families so that together we can complete the home stretch of your return to full consciousness. We look forward to being your guides and helping you find the best way to fulfill the sacred duties given to us by heaven. These decrees of Aeon await us all, and with them a most glorious time in our history. The events paving the way for first contact are ready to manifest. Let us together use these auspicious times to bring into being a new epic for humanity. Let us indeed joyously respond to the grand clarion call of heaven. End of quote. 
all which is not in alignment with these new energies will be dissolving now at a very rapid rate. This is what will be occurring during this time compression we have entered. Here we go, everyone. We highly recommend to release, release, release. Nothing from the old paradigm can enter into this energy. We are moving into eternity, and this is an unstoppable event. Even for those unaware of what's happening, within their souls, they know something is going on, and love is here. Quoted from Lucas, it is awesome to see things moving into accelerated time in the counting towards zero. Yes, nothing. Zilch. Nil. Nada. I see people still letting go of all the things in a faster way than ever, and also those bumping their head in ego and ego and ego again till the message is understood. It is all played out as it needs to be, and all is fine. People are now having in shortened time sequences the last ego bits and issues of duality on their plate to let go of. The choice is to clean it up or to get it all again, but now in a tougher version on the same plate. The changes in your body were needed to bring you to the point that the offer of full activation on the 21st December of 2012 to an ascended state is possible to accept. It's like music that shifts to another key. It is sounding different and it is being felt differently. It's not the same as before. The planet and universe are also going to shift to this new key. The 5D experiences makes new things possible and old and forgotten talents and possibility are also yours as all is one. Oneness in the world of zero time brings that which will be needed to a brand new exploration of what is and can be with our knowledge and experience we had had in our past cycles of duality. The world to be is what you can feel as possibilities sprouting from unconditional love and unity and oneness of all. There is still a bit of mystery as to what is behind this 21st of December date and the end of time or zero time. But know that what is will be that what is for the best for all of humankind, Earth and our planetary universe. All is now about love. So whatever happens, know you have still a bit of time left to get your clearing and cleaning process on the road. The ego-minded people and those still attached to or clinging to or even choosing the dogma, the pattern, the belief system, all as that thing to hold on will have a hard time in this energy. The time is over to be connected to and in the old paradigm. That matrix is unveiled and will totally vanish. Every day from now, you have a choice to be growing into the master you truly are. And remember. Also, get your focus on the 12th of December date and make that on, on that day a positive contribution in manifesting the new earth and paradigm to be the highest possible 5D creation outcome that will be activated on the 21st. We call for assistance of all masters of light and all light beings and humans to help and assist in this manifesting vision to be created. Be love in action and make unconditional love your new paradigm and your future heart seat in you. So be it and so it be done. End of quote. 
Thanks to our Giza alignment on Monday, this event activated the pyramid, opened the gates for our 12-12-12 portal, and then activated all missions for this intense period. This event also revealed to us an opportunity to cut off the main power food supply for the minions. Many telepathically received steps to assist in this task as representatives for all of humanity in preparation for the birth of light on this planet. Quoted from Christine Melarisi. On December 3rd, there was a planetary alignment of the planets of Mercury, Venus, and Saturn with the Giza Pyramid, which means that it is the first activation of December, creating an electromagnetic pathway from the center of the universe to the Great Pyramid, opening a gate that has been closed for 2,737 years. It is a very subtle energy, but aligns within the planetary system to create the opening of the Christ cons Consciousness to be fully activated by December 21st, 2012. End of quote. As we decreed in a previous update, the severing of the main food source, fear, for the Cabal ha had to be accomplished and this has been successfully severed. This occurred during the Giza alignment on December 3rd. This is a huge accomplishment and victory for the light. Their food source, which were pockets of intensely held dense energies through various locations around the planet, were identified. And as a team of Earth allies, we accomplished the task of dissolvement and the release of light. After this was completed, the ceremony to complete the circuit for oneness was performed. The following was written by Andrea, performed with assistance from all Earth allies as representatives for and behalf of all humanity. Documented mission completed December 3rd, 2012. The Vatican has been returned to the light. Quoted from Andrea. When the angel said the Vatican, I was not sure what they meant, but in no time at all it was explained, for all parts of the team got pieces to it. We had to go there and open it to receive the light influx that is incoming now. Illusion had lived there for long enough. First we thought it would be a physical visit, but Michael said nope, this is no more a 3D issue. You all know who you are, and it's from its core that you can reach them and bring the message of love. Monday evening, Michael said, Now they're waiting for you. Not sure what that meant, but I told the team to get ready as I was going in. And so we did. They all held the space of love and by located with me to create a co-create a love shield where I could safely walk into what was the core of their food, fear. And they were indeed waiting, having some of their weird meetings. They were not surprised to see me, though they were indeed surprised that I came on behalf of all of humanity, and by divine decree, and that I was not bringing them fear, but love. As we prepared for the mission, the self that lives in me, which is God, God's self, guided all actions and words, and they were given the last chance to choose love and get again in contact with their true self or choose to remain in fear and separation, where they would never again in this lifetime get a chance to discover the truth of who they are. Some cho chose to step back and surrender a few, the rest, challenged what they thought to be God, but it was nothing else but themselves. As all made their choices, Michael gave me his sword, and with it their cords were cut. And no more will they be able to feed themselves with humanity's fears. We felt their illusion and the fear that, that this generated over a 13 millennia. 
we saw their actions and brought them back to the light. The only source of food they now have is those of their own inner fears of themselves. And they crumble on them like heavy walls. As soon as the cord was cut, the sweetest light coming from Gaia's core emerged into the Vatican itself and spread all over the place, following all the underground cities and tunnels, purifying in truth all that had been built on illusion and ignorance. It spread then high over the city, meeting the light that was coming down from above, creating a wonderful view for angels to sing with. Confirmation of the success of this mission was on the next day, when all those involved in it shared what they had experienced and lived, all at the same time, and all in sync. We had been there as God's angels, and as such, we completed love's decree. For there's only one truth, and that truth is love in the present moment of now. Mission complete, humanity. It's love everywhere present. End of quote. Quoted from Robert Lane, I was told on Monday that beings all over the universe were smiling and happy, each in their own way. The reason was very clear. The breakthrough of light has been achieved. In order for that to have transpired, the embryonic archaeons, the reptilians, had to be cleared from the etheric and astral planes 8.6 miles up, and they were. So when the post came about the bushes et al. and Nassim got ill, there was zero surprise in this. They had just lost all their power. Now, now, all that is required is for the event to happen. That will now be the easiest phase of this. These are the greatest days of humanity since 26,000 years ago, and we're all here to witness this. Now you will begin to see wonders unseen <clears throat> for aeons. I love you all very much. End of quote. <clears throat> Shortly after we completed our task, Lucas received information for a ceremony to complete the Oneness for Humanity, which Bill Ballard performed on behalf of humanity. Quoted from Bill Ballard, I did ceremony yesterday, setting a crystal which I programmed connected to the great central sun and the incoming energies, and also the four directions, and to all those gathering for the 12-12-12 and 12-21-12 and I placed it into the ground on the property here at Crystal River, Florida. It is between the two vortexes, very rare for Florida, and are side by side on the property. The crystal is programmed from Star Knowledge Asheville, one of the Lemurian crystals, that there was one for each of us attending that was in the labyrinth there, but I took mine. I programmed it these past few months with all the ascension codes and higher knowledge. Yesterday I placed it into the ground between two, the two vortexes and placed three eggs in each of the two vortexes for the hatching of the lower earth kingdoms and humanity's representation into the new earth. On 12-12-12 and 12-21-12, please connect from wherever you are to that crystal. It is also programmed to connect with all doing ceremony around Mother Earth and with all unawakened humanity too. End of quote. We have many more events to come. Victory for the light has occurred and will continue until all on planet Earth equal heart are awakened to the truth and reality. Love wins. Decreed by he heaven. Love is being birthed within all human hearts, and we are becoming one again. This has been a 19 billion year journey, 
and all circuits for this event are completing and will be complete on December 21st. This is a divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth Equal Heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. Just be present and follow the synchronistic events. End transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanity's Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team. <laughs>